Hello, welcome. Question number six of the section B. If two fair dice are thrown twice, we have to find the probability of obtaining a product of six in the first row and the sum of it in the second row. So in this, uh, if you're having two dice all at once and you throw them, you might be having the chances of having one on uh, first die or two on the second die just for the first throw then if that is done again the process will be repeated so we want to see what will be the possible outcome when two die is thrown once or a die is thrown what twice so we are going to have the first throw or first die second die not the first throw the first die have possible outcome to be one to six the second die will also have one to six. So if they are thrown once, what are the chances? There could be a chance of one on the first die, then one showing on the second die. Then you could also be one on the first die, then two showing. This is how it's going to be. So all these numbers will be the preceding number, then followed by this as a second term. So this become okay. So we are going to have this. Remember, it is 6 by 6, as in 6 times 6. So 6 times 6 will give you what? Um, 36. So we can say that total possible outcome is going to be 36 different outcome. All right. Now, let's see the probabilities or let's see the event. We are looking for product of 6. So this is showing for the first throw, and this will be repeated for the second throw because there are still two dice we are using in the experiment. So in the first throw, what will be uh, possible outcomes that will be or events that will be a product of six? Meaning, if I pick the first from the first die and the second number for the second die, when I multiply, the result will be six. That is, we are looking for product of six. So let's see. Definitely, we are going to have 1 times 6 itself. So I should be having this as the first instance. 1 times 6 is 6. Then 6 times 1 itself will also be 6. So this is second. Then if I go to 2, 2, 3, 6. Therefore, there should be 3, 2, 6. So these are the various possible outcomes if I'm looking for a product of 6. So I can see an uh, event of product of what? 6. I can list them as uh, 6, 1, then 1, 6, right? 2, 3, and 3, 2. So I'm going to have if I'm using the event or possible outcome of 6, if I use, uh, let's say, E, I can have my number of E to be equal to 1, 2, 3, 4. I have what? 4. Therefore, probability of the event E will be equal to the number of the event E divided by what? The sample space, which in this case is going to be 36, if I can put here U in there. So this probability is just going to be 4 out of what? 36. Is that not it? Alright, if it is 4 out of 36, by simplifying, as you have 1 out of what? 9. Alright, so this is just for the first throw. Then we are going to do a second throw because the two dice are thrown twice. So on the second throw, I will still be having the same sample speed. Not necessarily showing that 1-1 one, one will show first. But the chances of 6-6 six, six showing is possible. So this becomes another sample space being what? 36. But in that case, we are looking for sum of 8. We are going to add the possible outcome. So let's see. Event of... Uh, event of what? Sum of 8. In this case, let me use D. So I'll be having... Let's see, sum of 8. I think 4, 4 will be the first option. So let's see, 4 plus 4 is going to be the first option. 
let's see, 2 column, I think 2 plus 6 will give us same. Do we have 3 column? 3, 5. We give up that. 5 columns will be 5, 3. Then the 6 columns will be 6, 2. So we can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So what do we see? Let's uh, list them as 2, 6, then 6, 2. Let's have 4, 4. I already have, uh, I think I have 6, 2 already. So let's go to 5, 3, and 3, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we can see here that the number of D is going to be 5. Hence, probability of D, which is the event, equals the number of D over the sample space. That will give you 5 on word. 36. But we are not looking for the probability separately. It's a compound probability. So here we are using the product of 6 and this n here is showing a multiplication of what? The two probabilities. So we can have probability of uh, E and D to buy space is going to be the first probability I have 1 on 9 Time the second probability 5 on word 36. I believe the top will be giving us uh, 5, the down will be giving us uh, this is 3, so 270, and this is what 54, right? This is 12, so we have 300 and what 24 as the denominator, and I'm not sure we have any common factor to cancel it. All right, so this becomes the probability of. A product of 6 and that of what? The sum of what? 8 in first through and second through respectively. Alright, like, share, comment, subscribe and come back for question number 7.